Good morning. How are we? It is Saturday. Lovely day yesterday. What an amazing day yesterday. So, um, wanted to go over a question that I had yesterday. Um, I was chatting with one of the ladies and someone who's inquiring about our Kickstart program. If you do want more information, just send me a message. We have start dates March the 1st and March the 8th. Um, and she was saying that, you know, she walks a lot, but she doesn't feel like she's getting the results she wants from it. And one thing I actually touched on was a recent study that came out. And I just want to tell you that just because you're not getting the results you want, as I said yesterday, people who embarked on a journey of trying to lose five kilos, this is just what they said in the study, um, the more often you try and lose the five kilos, you're, the lower the risk of all-cause mortality, essentially. So your risk of death from all causes was decreased, like cardiovascular disease, Morning, Pamela. Give me a hello if you're coming in. Cardiovascular disease, diabetes, etc. And I just wanted to remind you of this because there's another study that came out that showed, and this is really relevant to me because my step count has gone down significantly uh, in lockdown. And that's just because I'm not walking back and forth from the studio, I'm not walking around, in and around, you know, getting stuff, nipping out. You just don't do that, nipping out, you know. Um, and as much as that's good sometimes for time wise, I have to force myself to walk if I want to go to a walk. Good morning, Lorraine. And I just wanted to share this because in this um, study, they just wanted to see what happened when people's daily average steps, this is re very relevant to lockdowns, really. I know some people have walked more, but a lot of people have actually walked less. Um, what happens when your lockdown, uh, when your steps reduce from 6,000 steps to 1,500 steps? In, so this is just two weeks, and what they showed was insulin sensitivity, which is essentially a marker for diabetes risk, reduced by 43%. So essentially people were more resistant, um, and that's essentially around glucose control, and again, your blood sugar levels, and potentially your immune system, and your health. Um, C-reactive proteins increased by 25%, and C-reactive protein, this is a marker of inflammation in your body, which actually is a key marker because other markers that we often measure, like, you know, I could go into it, cholesterol, etc., they seem to be a lot more risky when C-reactive protein is higher and there's, you know, systemic inflammation in the body. Muscle protein synthesis reduced by 26%, which isn't good if you're trying to maintain muscle because this means that your body isn't synthesizing the protein, which helps to you recover, build that muscle. And if you're trying to get fitter, more toned, stronger, make everyday tasks easier, you know, climb those hills without being breathless and your legs burning. When like one of the ladies says, she just pretends to look over there and go, yeah, um, just want to look at this view a second. And she's like, I need to stop doing that. I want to just walk with my daughter and not be able, not have to pretend I'm just looking at this view over there. But I wanted to share this to say that even if you feel like it's not working, well, guess what? It is doing something. It might not be perfect for you right now, but you've got to consider if you didn't do that, where would you be then? Well, all these things could happen that I've just said. Inflammation, muscle protein synthesis reduced, muscle reducing, insulin resistance, risk of diabetes, immune system dampens down, not to, men not to mention our mental health. And it was great to actually see... Um, quite recently actually. Now, resist, muscle resistance exercise, which is a different matter and it's something that I always recommend, especially people who haven't done it much in their life because it's never too late. Um, my brother-in-law, in fact, researches this stuff and you know their motto in their lab is that it's never too late to put on muscle, to improve your mobility. And even in 90 year olds, they show that you can put on muscle and make everyday tasks easier than they were. And that's the key thing. Um, but the uh, UK Chief Medical Officer's report is finally emphasising muscle strength and exercise. Now, the government's recommended this for years and years, but now they're like, you know, as we age, as, you know, bone density becomes an issue, as, you know, it's more likely that as we age, we unfortunately encounter you know, illnesses, diseases, and we need recovery from that. It's great that we have the treatment often to treat our treat and actually make a recovery, but the, the extent to which we recover and the quality of, of our life can often be related to the muscle that we have to allow us to recover and deal with potentially long periods of bed rest um, 
from you know knee replacements to you know other diseases so it could be anything but we know that muscle strengthening exercises can prevent falls by increasing bone density um, reduce your risk of type 2 diabetes by 40 percent and this is from the report and this could be linked to what i said before but also with muscle is almost like a storage of sugar it's like having a big bath and a big jacuzzi the bigger the muscle the bigger your jacuzzi the more water that can go in that's like sugar um, and the more when you exercise that just drains it down a little bit so it stops it overflowing if you've got a little bathtub then you, know, you haven't got much space and it's more likely to overflow high blood sugar levels more fat storage more insulin resistance decrease your risk of heart disease by 30 percent reduce your risk of depression by 30 percent now of course any exercise is good like i've just said there's so many benefits of walking but if you're not getting the results you want right now consider adding some resistance work in even if it's one minute of some squats coming up and down from the step from the chair just make sure your your chest is nice and high if you need help put a cushion on your chair chest up imagine there's a wall in front of your face heels in the floor and then just drive up then just take a seat keep the wall in front of the face so you're not coming super far forward here you could even put a chair next to your desk and actually use put your hands on the desk to sit up to stand up and you're just supporting it you can put your hands on your legs support push up but the key thing is you want to keep your chest up you're trying to engage your glutes a bit more one percent better each day something is always better than nothing and you might just get all those benefits i've just talked about so is walking enough maybe maybe not but it's definitely not pointless remember that for all those really important reasons i've just said give yourself credit because if you took it away what would happen then Hope that helps. Make it a great day. Any questions, let me know. If you do want more information about our Kickstart program, send me a message. Start dates, March the 1st, March the 8th. Have a lovely one. Hopefully it's a sunny one again. And I'll see you soon. Take care.